Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yes. Is he puffing? A whistle and a, th- a cell phone. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Here you are in the Philippines. You've met a younger Filipina. I almost lost my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, wh- where did you find this one? <laughs> she left me. She called the cops. Welcome to another episode of Fly Me to the Philippines. With me today is my friend Andres the Giant. You're going to share your story with us today. <laughs> sure, I'd be happy to. We're here in my home overlooking the Cagayan de Oro River Valley. Andre, uh, you've agreed to share your story with us. Yes. Before we get to your love life and, yes. uh, the, and we talk Filipinas, yes. your trip to the Philippines, let's get some of your backstory for our viewers first. Okay. You are how old? I am 72. And you reside? Uh, in uh, Toronto, Canada. And you were born? I was born in Jamaica. I'm a Jamaican birth, uh, Jamaican boy by, uh, by, uh, by birth, but a Canadian by choice. And how old were you when you moved from Jamaica to Canada? 16. Actually, we were going to move to Florida. The Vietnam War started to get hot, and my dad said, we're not going to live in Florida, we're going to Canada. Your dad's a smart guy. Yes. So then 16, you're yes. really like a Jamaican. Hey, man. I'm a little Jamaican boy, you know. My background is uh, after college here in Canada, I went into banking, mm-hmm. sort of fell into it, a banking. And uh, then from there, I went into life insurance sales. Okay. A terrible salesperson. Really? Oh, yeah. You're very almost, outgoing. Yeah, I almost lost my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, wh- where did you find this one? <laughs> At the Okai Okai. Really? Did you know? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> and, uh, and, and then after that, I... I did a stint as in uh, executive security. So executive, you meet anybody interesting? Yes. Uh, Bill Clinton, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yes. Is he puffing? Uh, well, you know, he, he's a character. There was... Did you smell on strange odors from yes, the hotel well, room? Well, when they uh, approached the border with Canada, this was before we legalized marijuana, uh, they had a marijuana plant in the bus, the back of the bus. <laughs> they took it out. <laughs> they took it away? And, and one of his entourage, actually, uh, they sent back. They wouldn't let him come into Canada because he had, uh, had uh, some, uh, uh, some criminal Mary, background. Some Mary Jane. <laughs> Different prime ministers, lots of actors. Now, were you armed? What kind of security are we talking no, about? No, we. This is Canada, right? Yeah, you, know, you have you your know, voice, a whistle, and a, th- a cell phone. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> You're gonna freeze them to death. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Do you have children? Uh, yes, I have three grown children. You were married. Uh, how old? I was married at 23 the first time. Okay, and uh, had 26 years, and uh, that fell apart, and. Uh, Remarried again uh, for the second time, mm-hmm. 22 years. Okay. And uh, that was a, a bit devastating. So how old were you uh, when you got divorced the first time? I was in my 50s. And how long were you single? Uh, about a year. About a year. Yeah. I made an effort to uh, work on myself, but mm-hmm. also make some changes, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and look for different things. Did you, th- did you think she was a little bit more of a low-maintenance woman the second um, yes, at the first. Yeah. At the f- at first. <laughs> at first. Okay. So roll forward. Okay. Now, how long have you been divorced? Just over a year. The first video chat, the woman is going to say, "What happened to your marriage? Yes. What? Why are you not married anymore? I recommend you say, for the sake of your soul, I had to move on. But yes, you said. <laughs> I said she left me. The root of the problem was that uh, COVID hit. She started to question her whole self and uh, basically lost lost herself. Twenty good years. Twenty good years. We basically stopped talking. Okay. You know? And you say she left you. Yeah. Just like that. You su- surprise? I'm leaving. It's uh, no. She called the cops. The cop showed up at my door one day, uh, said, I'm going out for a little while. I said, OK. And uh, she went to the police station and they interrogated her for about nine hours. And uh, they were trying to get her to say that I abused her. And she said, no, he's never hurt me. So she goes to the local police station. She yes. says, I want this guy out of my house. Yeah, well, uh, right, I think out of that his was house. the intention. I want this guy out of his house. That's right. Did she work? Um, she had retired. She was a drama coach. This is all a shock to you. This is all of a shock. Did so, the police think she was mentally unstable? They would not say. Hmm. And I said, what am I being charged with? And they said, uh, she's leaving tonight. She claims that she was afraid of me. Okay. And, of course, 
Uh, we had a massive argument the night before, which never happened. Yeah. We slept in the same bed. Oh, she, she said you had an argument. Yes, she did, said. Did we you uh, keep weapons in the house? No. 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 Well, you, you never had a history of violence, right? No. No. And w what did your kids say when you shared this with them? They were sort of ang very angry with her, mm. you know, for, for, for what she did. And did she give you any explanation that the next week or two later? Did she tell you what's going on? No. And did she have a boyfriend? No. She just wanted out. She and just she wanted thought out. You would flip out. I'm not that type of person. Okay. All right. I'm not that type. So of that's person. a lot of drama from the drama coach. Yes. Is it a, a amicable divorce after counseling? The last time I saw her was the day we were at the uh, lawyers. What about the last time you talked to her? That was the last time I talked okay, to her. Okay. So it's not amicable. How did we get from that night where the police told you your wife was leaving right. to today. Here you are in the Philippines. You've met a younger Filipina. Yes. Generally, um, you know, how's your health? What's going on? Everything good? My health is good. Okay. Uh, I, I I make a point of uh, working out. I do exercise. I take vitamins. I watch my diet. You exercise be, besides chasing, yes. chasing a young Filipina yes. around the yes. condo. Yes. How long ago did you feel that you were free to start dating? Immediately. So pretty much 24 months ago. Yes. It took a, a year to work through the divorce. Right. Did you um, date at all during that year? Yes. Uh, well, I'm, I, Rob, I'm the type of guy, I, I li like being with myself for about 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle it for a couple hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 24 hours. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why I'm always aware. Is it okay if I stay a little longer? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. 24 hours is my limit. Okay. And uh, so I, uh, I'm not afraid to say it. I went on five dating sites. Yeah. Uh, uh, in Canada or in, for no in Canada in Canada in Canada so and, you went on like Match. dot com things like that. yeah yeah uh, and how was that e Harmony yeah how uh, that Christian again? Cafe uh, was one uh, it's a Canadian site and uh, got lots of um, uh, interest from all over the world China Africa Philippines and I basically said to all of them I said uh, you're beautiful but uh, you're too far away. And uh, I dated, I had about 10 or 15 dates in Canada. What age women were you dating? Um, uh, early 50s. Okay. Um, early 50s. I wouldn't date uh, a woman over 60. How were your finances? Were you stable financially that you could, or were, were you um, in kind of a critical? A lot of guys are just destroyed after a yeah. divorce. Well, ha having gone through one before, I landed on my feet. Okay, so you had something to offer these 50-something-year-old women in yes. Canada. Yes, You had. Did you keep the family house? The house has been sold. Yeah. And uh, and so I, I now rent. Yeah. But the big thing for me was the business. You're here for 71 days. Yes. Okay, so you still have your, your, your place in Canada. Yes. And you still do business in Canada. You're yes. still working. Yes. Can you remember the moment where you were, what you heard what was said that made you go like boom light bulb yeah were you watching a youtube were you on a dating site what, what was that moment where the whole philippine thing came to mind that you're here today a year yeah. later well i it, rob the interesting thing is that for the last five years i've been watching videos on the philippines and thailand mm -hmm. so it, it was not as if it was a new idea to okay. me um but uh, the thought was man that's a long way away I will only go f maybe four hours. So I was. I had started to look at um, Panama yeah. uh, as a possibility. Sure, sure. But it's surprising what love will do to you. Yeah. Seventeen hours as compared to four hours. Yeah. You know. Um, had you ever been to Asia before? Yes, I had been to Taiwan once before. Okay. Um, and and uh, I have a lot of Filipino friends back in Canada. Yeah. There are over 300,000 people, Filipinos, live yeah. in Canada. Yeah, all Most, nurses, huh? Uh, yeah, <laughs> a lot of them. Something somebody said to me the other day, a, a Jamaican friend. He said, uh, f the Philippines, I, I don't know where he got this, okay? But he said, the Philippines is the Jamaica of Asia. <laughs> You're the one who said that. Yes. No, he said it to me, and I'm telling you. I heard you say it the other day. And okay. I'm going, oh, okay. So so what was that moment? Uh, did you, you went on a Philippines. So you've been watching YouTube, stuff, and you had this thought in your head. You'd yeah. never been to Thailand. No. Had you ever been uh, romantic with a, an Asian no. woman? No. Never. Never. 
And uh, so you uh, went online. Where did you, you go online? What happened? How, oh, how did you get from A to B? Oh, okay. Um, uh, one of the challenges, and you are aware of this, is that there are a lot of scammers out there. And so they will send you reams and reams of documentation, but they will not speak to you. Hmm. Uh, so I, I made it a rule. Uh, I will. I will have. I will talk with you by text for three sentences, and then after that, uh, it is video chat or we're done. Yeah. So that sort of cleared the field. Yeah. And uh, my present a lady, um, I said that to her. I said, uh, "Where did you meet her? Um, online." So how long had you been online in the Philippines date online dating sites before you met her? I, I had been on for about three or four months. And had you ever gotten, like, to a point where you had video chatted a woman, like, 5, 10, 15 times? No. Never? No. They all just proved to be unreliable. Unreliable. You washed them out. This this insistent to get on video chat. Yeah. Maybe you video chat them once, and the yeah. second time they lost motivation. Yeah. No, the, the ones in Canada would, would meet with oh, me. Oh, you would talk to... You, so yeah. you went on dates with Filipinas in Canada. Oh, no, no, just uh, Canadians. Canadian Filipinas. Yes. That's what, Filipinas yeah. in Canada. Yes, I yeah, did, yeah. actually. And how'd that work out? Were um, they, what age were they? Uh, she was about 50. Okay. And and uh, nice, gorgeous. Yeah. But uh, the personality sort of grated me the yeah. wrong way. Yeah, uh, okay. The personalities didn't match. Yeah. You so know. you got a little tinkling of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, she wanted. So you went out, she wanted to run my life. So and, you, you you went out more than once. If you wanted to run your life. <laughs> no, only one day. One day. day. Wow. That, that, I mean, I would lots of video chats with her. Okay, okay. But the, but then when we so met the, the first only, time. So that was the only date you ever went out with a Filipino. Right. Other than the girl you're with now. That's right. Which we're going to get to. Okay. So. Um, Four, five, four months, and you were on only one dating site or more than one? I was on five. Nothing happened, and on the one that I chose that I had used before to meet my first, second wife, because hmm. she was on there too, my second wife. A Filipino dating site? No, no, it was Christian Cafe. Christian Cafe, and there were Filipinas from the Philippines? Yeah. Really? Yes. I've never heard of yeah. that one. Yeah. I've met Romanians, I've met, you yeah. know, yeah. Um, people from Uganda. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Okay. You know, I don't know usually, Chris, I don't know if Christian Cafe appreciates that. But, uh, <laughs> That's so, not quite a commercial. You no, no. Ugandans. But, <laughs> yeah, but it was people from all over. Yeah, got it. You know, so anyway. Um, so, so that's where you met your current. Yes. Tell me the other four you used. I, I used eHarmony. Yeah. I used Facebook dating. Yeah. I tried to get on uh, Christian Filipina, but uh, somehow it's expensive. Yeah, I, it didn't. It okay. didn't work out. So Christian Cafe uh, paid off. Yes. What does it cost to join? Um, it was because I paid for a year. It cost me one hundred and thirty-five dollars for a year. Which isn't bad. So, is this the first girl you met on there? You met no, I met I other met, nibbles. Uh, quite a few other nibbles from the Philippines. From the Philippines. So you started to zero in on Philippines. Yes. Now, were you watching YouTube about the Philippines at the simultaneously? Uh, simultaneously. Okay. Yeah. I I watched a lot of uh, YouTube videos. The interesting thing that uh, none of the um, the vloggers mm -hmm. were in Kagi and Dior. They right. were all over yeah. Dumagati. Yeah. Dumagati, Dumagati, Dumagati right. mostly, yeah. Huge. Was it just a coincidence you met a girl from Kagi and Dior, CDO? Yes. It was, just, yes. A, just a yes. coincidence. So how long ago was your first touch with the Filipina that you have come to meet in the Philippines? Uh, June of last year. Okay, so nine months ago. Yeah. And um, how long did you um, have a long-distance relationship? Last summer, I came. So you met in June. When did you arrive in Manila? Um, I arrived in uh, August. So just uh, uh, two months. Tell me about meeting her. Did she jump off the page? Yes. We video chatted every day, twice a day. Right. You know. For I, how long? Uh, 20, 30 minutes. Okay. Um, uh, so, and found out a lot about her. Uh, of course, I wanted to find out if she was real. Right. You it's know. that trust but verify thing. Yes. So, uh, so what did you do? How did you find out? I came in. I came in. Came August. to Manila. I came to Manila. Okay, but in so August. when you were, what what gave you confidence to buy the ticket and come see her? 
the video chats, she never gave you a bad answer. She never asked for money. No, that's right. She never asked for money. Um, was she working? Uh, yes, she has her own business. Can we show a picture of you and your Filipina? For, yeah. Uh, she's not here for the interview, but can we, yeah. just, we show a yeah. picture of the happy couple? Yeah. She is a pastor in her church. Okay. Um, had uh, Is involved with... Uh, uh, a lot of ministry work in the mountains of Mindanao. Okay. For 20 years, she's gone into the mountains to feed kids yeah. every Sunday. Yeah. So uh, a very principled young lady. Yeah. Um, very, uh, I mean, her word is her bond. How long was your first trip? Um, uh, three and a half weeks. And you spent the entire three and a half weeks with her? Three, three and a half weeks. So you flew her. her to Manila? Yes. You hadn't been to uh, Manila? No. So you spent, tell me about your three and a half weeks in Manila. Um, and, and the three and a half weeks in Manila, we did some touring, did some shopping, eating. Just, just uh, you and her, and and her and her uh, her uh, chaperone. So she brought a chaperone. Yes, and her who, sister, and I was okay with that. So is it her sister, her cousin, or her church mate? Uh, it is her church mate. So it's not she's not related. No. So she brought, a, uh, and she's but she calls her her cousin. Okay, and she how old is she? Uh, you're, she's you're, you're Kate, right? Yes. How old is Kate? Uh, 38. And how old is the classmate? Uh, 38. So she came with a classmate. Yes. And where did you stay? What, what Did they have their own accommodation or you flew them, bo you flew them both in? Right. Flew them both in and we stayed. Uh, I rented a condo. And all three of you stayed in the yeah. condo. She was the chaperone. Yeah. And what were the sleeping arrangements, if I might ask? <laughs> no, I'll avoid that one. You'll avoid that one. Okay, so there were three. Three's company. Three, right? Three's company. So yes. uh, was it a problem, or was it? Did it take a while to get to know each other with a third wheel? No, we. Uh, I I'm a very open person, so I mean, we just talk in front of her. I yeah. mean, if we something we didn't agree on, it's no but problem. But you were able to yes. move the relationship forward. Yes, definitely. Did you get any alone time? Did the chaperone give you like the afternoon off? We we had we uh, we had some alone the evening time. alone. Yes. <laughs> Did you get any alone time? <laughs> we had some some alone time. Yes, you know where we would, but not much. So not for much. three weeks, it was yeah. the, it was the three, yeah. it was a threesome. Yes, a yes. thruple. Not thruple. No, 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 no. I know what a thruple is. Okay, so, <laughs> That's, uh, so uh -uh. okay, so so at the end of three weeks, you bid adieu to two women. Yes, the chaperone and your girlfriend. Yeah, and go back to Canada. You go back to Canada. How long you go back to Canada for? Uh, September last year till now. And why did you stay away so long? Um, I, I, business. Business? Yeah. I have, I've, I, I mean, business interests yeah. there that I'm working on. Okay. Still developing. It was lonely to be in a long distance relationship. Yeah. Uh, you chatted. How, how much did you chat? Uh, we, we chatted twice a day. Same 20, 30 minutes? Yes. So this time you came for yeah. 71 days and this time you came to CDO. Yes. And, um... Is it just you and Kate, or do you have a chaperone? Well, you have a chaperone. So you, from the minute you've arrived, it's yeah. been a, a threesome again. Yes. And um, you're staying, uh, all staying in the same uh, facility? It's you're same, staying in a studio. Yeah, a studio apartment. And it's yeah. got, a studio usually just has like one queen-size bed or right. one sofa that turns into a bed. Yeah. What's the sleeping arrangements like? Well, it's it's interesting. I'm on the top bunk. <laughs> so you're on the top, and they sleep together at the bottom. <laughs> That's right. Do you send her out for like a tedious errand that'll take three hours? Or well, or? she has the use of the car, right? So She's you're renting our... a car. Yes. Okay, and it's a rather nice pickup truck. Yes. Uh, it's, yeah. it's four. Uh, what are you paying per day for that? Uh, about twenty seven dollars. Wow, that's pretty, for a monthly rate or yeah, seventy one yeah. day rate. That's yeah. really good. The first place you stayed in, you told me, was uh, oh, full of bugs. Yes. Uh, the second place was what? It was uh, not much better. But you paid like fifty U.S. dollars per yeah. night, so yeah. you didn't go too cheap. But it no. was like buggy and dirty. Yes. And the second place was like noisy or buggy yeah, and well, dirty. Also, uh, this is uh, I, I'm I, I'm I'm very fastidious. Um, I called up the front desk, or Kate did, and I says, "There's no toilet seat on the toilet," <laughs> and she and they said, uh, "No, there are no toilets here with toilet seats." <laughs> uh, so that, that gives you an idea. Yeah, yeah. Fifty U.S. dollars and fifty U.S. dollars. Yeah. So I mean, now, the room was the, right. that room was clean. So let me ask you. Yes. Why didn't you get like a one bedroom condo where you and Kate could use the one bedroom and yes. your chaperone could sleep on? Yeah. Pull out sofa. Well, I, uh, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> like, okay. I, 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 but you, you took a 30 day lease on yeah, a studio. Yeah. 
Don't yeah. explain to us why. <laughs> I Is it just... because she wants that chaperone? She doesn't want to sleep together at night? What's going on? Yeah, no, we we made a commitment to one another that uh, hold we, off. we would hold off. Okay. okay. And, uh, you know, um, uh, in, in her position as a pastor, she wants to set an example. Yeah, yeah. And, and I respect Are that. Are you getting married tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> People looking for an online an online marriage. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me put this. I have my divorce papers, but I don't have a certified copy yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just paid for as mine. Soon, I as, just paid for mine. Yeah. Well, as as soon as I have it, yeah. we will. We, Are you planning to get married immediately? As soon as you have it. As soon as I have it. We should have that within a couple of weeks. Yeah. Well. But there's a few other things you got to take a yeah. class. And yes, I know. Do some other uh, things. Uh, she needs her cinema. The cinema. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you plan to get married right away. Well. I I, I think what we've been talking about now on my uh, on my third journey, we will. Oh, so yeah, okay, third we time. will. So your plan. So that's like a very uh, unique situation. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people will give you a lot of props for being the kind of guy that will respect her, <laughs> and a lot of guys are going to write in the comments yeah. that you yeah. be, don't you, judge me. Yeah, a lot of, don't judge and don't label. <laughs> but a lot of guys are going to judge and label, and they're yeah. going to have something to That's say okay. about it. That's yeah, okay. yeah. I, you know, I, you know, I don't run my life by what other people say. Yeah, no, I, 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 I run my life based on principles. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Saying, so. And I don't judge other people that 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 go the other yeah, way. Yeah, I'm yeah. okay. Yeah, well, for, for them. Be, go gentle on the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and uh, basically, it was a relief for her yeah. knowing that I was open to that idea. But how do you know that she, like, for me, yeah. uh, growing up in 1960s and 70s yeah. America, yeah. like, I can't fathom the idea of marrying a woman I haven't slept with. Yeah. How do you do that? How do you know? Well, how do you know you're compatible? Well, I, 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 the areas of compatibility I think that are the most important is emotional compatibility, mm. spiritual compatibility, yeah. physical compatibility, yeah. um, and uh, uh, man, uh, the physical is going to work. Okay, <laughs> I'm not, okay. I'm not right. too concerned. Okay. I'll take your word for hey, it. Hey, 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 I've. I've I've had uh, how many uh, forty eight years of experience. Yeah, right, so, right, right. You know, so uh, you're here for seventy one days yes. of a chaperoned experience. Yeah. Why don't you just pack up, head back to Canada, get your stuff, get your affairs taken care of, and rush back here and and uh, sign on the dotted line. Very and, good. Uh, get rid of the well, chaperone. <laughs> <laughs> that will happen. Um, actually, it has been a godsend in the sense that uh, our chaperone is my nurse, my cook. Uh, <laughs> she's the chauffeur, yeah. so it's it's worked out really well. Yeah. You know, so well, I, as I have, you're happy. I, I I have I have zero. Would you requests. recommend? What would you say to the other man if uh, if uh, if an other man asked you, "Gosh, my Filipina wants her sister to be everywhere we go. Should I put up with it?" What would you say? Would you recommend it? That's up to him. Yeah, it, you know, it it's uh, different strokes for different folks. Yeah. You asked to meet me, and it was Holy Week. Yes, and we couldn't meet at a coffee shop because they were all closed. Yes, and I had uh, a card game going on. Yes, and I invited you over. The guys enjoyed meeting you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've I have made some connections. So let me bring you back to that night. We yeah. were all playing cards. You started talking about the fact that you've been out looking at houses to yes. buy. Yes. Yes. And there were five uh, expats here. Right. Uh, one had been here 15 years. One's been here 10 years. And, you know. Yeah. And uh, they jumped on you. Yes, they uh, did. They, uh, tell us about that. Well, uh, that, I mean, and, and, and rightly so. I am I am not going to move quickly. Uh, but uh, I, I want to have a place that I, I'm sort of secure in the sense, um, uh, you know, I have... Leave my clothes there. <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't want to be trapped. Because my, my, my plan right now is six months in Cagayan or in the Philippines yeah. and six months in Canada. Okay. You and your girl and the chaperone have been out shopping for houses. We have been looking at houses. Okay. And the guys, they yeah. had uh, feedback for yes. you. Yes. And can, what, what was the feedback? No, the, the feedback is wait. That's what I'm doing. I, yeah. I, but actually, did your girl find out that you got uh, tackled and we tried to, no, I, no, we tried no. to take your wallet away? No, no. 
no. What I want to do, Rob, is, and for those of you that are in this area, I, I really want to see other people. I've seen your place here. This is like fabulous. This is palace. This is big living. Yeah, I get a lot of living. I get a lot of crap from people. Why? Well, because I'm spending nine hundred U.S. dollars per month, and I'm <laughs> renting. For me, I'm like about the noise pollution. Yes, and this is the second property I've ever been in in the Philippines where the roosters and the dogs weren't going it's crazy. Quiet. We're living next to a cemetery. I finally found neighbors I can I can put up with. <laughs> they can put up with me. Like, they don't complain at all. So when you get on a karaoke machine, they, well, they, they, eight o'clock curfew. It's a great neighborhood. <laughs> what has your journey been like that you could offer some advice to right. the people watching who might be in your position to, that you were in a year ago? Right. Well, I would say if you do meet a Filipino and you think that she may be the one. Um, I know it's expensive. It took me it, 27. The first time I came, it was $2,700 to come here. Just for the flight or the whole just, trip? Uh, uh, just for the flight. Okay, back towards co near COVID, it was yeah. more expensive. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, dropped a, uh, it's dropped a bit now. Yeah. But I would say if um, do not, uh, I don't believe in long distance relationship, yeah. especially at the start, yeah. because you want to establish uh the, the relationship and if if this is going to work because i'm the type of guy i am a, like a all in or, yeah. or not in yeah. at all yeah and so i want to say is this person really for real yeah uh do i bond with them emotionally right. Right. um so what, as, what, what as soon as you find you're you're yeah. you're liking somebody and you think that there is a potential yeah. not saying it is the potential for a long-term relationship Get your butt over here. What would you have done when you landed with three weeks in Manila and it didn't work out in the first three days? What would you have done? I would have said adios. And then you went to turn around and gone back to Canada. You, what would you have done in Manila? I, I would have used the time to tour and different things yeah, like that. Yeah. You know? You've been to a waterfall. You've been up in the yeah. mountains. Yes. You feel the cool breezes in the mountains. Yeah. yeah. You've explored the uptown area. Yes. You mentioned to me you kind of like that a little better. Yes. The zoning's a little better up yes. here. It doesn't quite look like everywhere else in yeah. the Philippines. Mostly taxis up here. Yeah. Um, so where would you settle down? you know where you would settle down? When you come back, you're going to buy a place, you think? I... Uh, that's uh, that's a strong possibility. Um, uh, I, I would uh, like to settle in Uptown, yeah, or or, or somewhere okay. like that. Not too far from the city. Yeah. Let me just ask you this yes. hypo hypothetical question. You yes. go back to Canada. Yeah. And you're buying a cup of coffee at the convenience store, and you buy a lottery ticket. Right. And you win five million U.S. dollars. Yes. What do you do? You're seventy-two. Yeah. What do you do different in your life? Live large. <laughs> Yeah, no. live large. Live large. So, how does, what is that? You got the boat. You got the big house. You got the, well, uh, you travel all over the world. The uh, the the, uh, the, uh, the house is the big one for me, yeah. and, and travel. Yeah. You know, plus continue the business because uh, my daughter is going to inherit my okay. business. So, I, I have a mandate to continue. Okay. Continue so growing that's it. That's the six months back in Canada. Yes. And what do you think it's going to be like to be here for six months and then go and be away for, you know, we're getting older, right. yes. you know, and we don't have, uh, you know, knock on plastic here. I guess. Yes. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> we don't have that much longer. No. Uh, do you want to spend half of the time away from your loved one? Uh, that's to be negotiated. Are you, gonna, are you thinking about bringing her to Canada? Uh, she has zero desire to. Yeah. Um, she she will come with me if I say, please come with me. What does she find what it, when she tells you what it is that attracted her to you? What does she say? That's a good question. She said to me, she says, I love your heart, your heart for service, your heart, uh, your giving heart. And uh, that was the sort of the clenching point for us in our relationship. Well, I want to congratulate you. Yeah. And I want to thank you for stopping by. Thank you. To be interviewed awesome. by uh, Fly Me to the Philippines. I, and uh, you guys out there, uh, like and subscribe. There you go. <laughs> Hit the notification <laughs> Hit bell. Hit the notification Til bell. Till next time. From Til the next Guy time. Andre the Giant. Peace out.